Hey guys, Cameron here, and I'm going to be talking about the um, Veteran Cape, the 10-year Veteran Cape, uh, Solomon's General Store, which is actually pretty interesting, and I completely support it, and uh, a little bit of a change to the Chaotic Weaponry, which is uh, pretty interesting. Now I have my, uh, or sorry, I have a person here that I have met, and he has the cape, so he will be doing the emote for you, and I will be able to show you what it looks like on him and uh, thanks to Omega Man for helping with this now as you can see it's red as Tyler did mention it is red with a little orange trim and it's got the X on it in white and the hood is similar to the five-year vet cape but it is matching with the ten-year one now and uh, I will ask him to do the emote please do the emote now he will do the emote and we will be able to see what it looks like. It is pretty interesting, but it doesn't look the greatest in my opinion. There you go. And then he explodes. So basically it just turns into an X and you explode. It's not that inventive, but it is pretty neat. Thank you. And uh, now on to Solomon's general store which is now shared with the squeal tab it's basically a really big cosmetic uh, microtransaction store I will show you something in here now inside this which is actually really cool now I will show you something <clears throat> hold on let me put on my rapier. Let's, oh, wrong one. <laughs> Whoops, misclick. Which is actually right in here. Now, yeah, my rapier is held a little bit awkwardly, but just try to ignore that. Now, in here is actually the items. Well, not really items per se, but the skins of uh, what, what is it the, the skins of Solomon's general store now these can also be used for titles so in here if you go to titles you can go to all the titles that you've unlocked I believe I have Sir Dame Junior Cadet and the real and you can reset your title or turn on turn off any of the titles here just, just activate button Animations and wardrobe are empty, but they're not actually empty. And the reason is because you cannot see any items here because I do not own any. Which I will get onto that a little bit later and I will buy something. But here you can actually see what all the items look like. I will show you full suits. Uh, here's the Cabaret, the Colosseum, which is a, a Roman warrior I guess gothic assassin which I really like that looks really cool in my opinion a swashbuckler just, uh, pirate theft I guess and a cat yeah you can recolor them to any color once you bought it well any color here at least and you can mix and match any of the items that you find or buy these are different basically it's just skins like um, if you know League of Legends how they sell skins they sell them separately and they have no advantage over anything miscellaneous titles see I can switch my title there are also new animations you can buy every time you get a slayer kill you can do this when you make a potion you can do that when you're fishing with a rod, you can do this. Uh, you can headbutt rocks to mine them instead. <laughs> you basically become th uh, Thok. Yeah. Or you can chop wood like that. There's also High Alchemy. Infernal Teleport. Pegasus Teleport. Hang on. There we go and assassin teleport all of which are only replacing the home teleport animations now 
the other button that you are usually selected on is only for items that you own, not owned items that are just available in the game. So let's open up the general store now. Okay, now up here it says click here to get your free 200 ring coins, and I'm lagging a little bit if you can see the lag on my mouse. I'm not sure if it'll come up in the recording or not, but my mouse is really laggy right now for whatever reason. Let's click here and there we go. See, I clicked that and now I have 200 ring coins. Thank you. All members, because this is a free to play thing, I'm pretty sure. All members accounts have 10% off on all items, which it says right up here. Now, in the feature, here's just basically like the little home page that they have on everything. You can get that and it just shows you stuff. Now, packs, the only pack available right now is the Assassin's Pack. It gives you everything that has to do with the Assassin. Now, my text is a little bit small. I can bump it up in a second. Hold on. There we go. It's a little bit too zoomed in, but it will let you read the stuff here. Um, it basically gives you this suit, which, if you don't know, it's actually a reskin of the armor you have. So, if you're wearing a cape, it will show the assassin's cape instead of the cape you're wearing, but you'll still get full stats. If you're wearing, say, full Torox, full Torva, full bronze even, and you have the assassin suit activated, it will show you the assassin suit instead of whatever the armor is. And weapons are just the same, except for they have to be a specific type of weapon. There are other outfits besides assassin, but the assassin is the only one that comes with a full set and you cannot buy it separately, which is a little bit disappointing, but what am I going to do? Um, the quick fire crossbow is a reskin of the crossbows the pack long sword and the assassin scimitar are slash weapon reskins there's no stab weapons which is a little bit weird but and uh this is the staff reskin none of the effects actually appear in pvp areas because you wouldn't know what the other person has because of the reskin then because it can be anything really. Revolutionary mask is, yeah, it's, it's a mask and a hat. Here are the teleports and animations I showed you previously. When you're casting the home teleport, only the home teleport though, it will actually show the animation that you use here instead of your little wand where you draw a circle and then you teleport the book. Now we have the emotes open. Because some reason, whenever I open the emotes, it seems to crash for me. I'm not sure why, though. And, uh, oh, I zoomed in a little bit too far there. Alright, there we go. The breakdance mode, as you can see here on the side, is breakdancing. Uh, not my favorite of all. This one, I don't even want to. The grave digger, you basically, it's a grave, and you're digging in it. This emote turns you into a frog. And this is my favorite mode I will ever see. Yes, you turn into Lucian. It is amazing. I was hoping for Dragonkin, but a Majar will do just as well. I will probably end up buying that in the end. Now this, this is a pretty neat little thing. It's similar to the Dominion Marker or the Clan Vexilum where it's just like a little banner, you put it down on the ground, but this banner spams everybody around you of your achievements. It will tell people what your total XP is, how many combat levels you have, how many quest points, uh, what your character's name is, what your total level is. It's, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Um, you can choose between 20 different things, and it's also recolorable. The white part you cannot recolor, but the red you can. And uh, I think you can see that right. Lastly is titles. I think you all know what those are. Okay, so I think I'm going to buy the Pact Breaker Longsword. Just because I kind of like the way it looks. And we can afford it with our free 200 rune coins. So, and yes, rune coins are also a microtransaction. 
but I will explain in a second why I'm fully okay with this. So let's go ahead and buy it. Okay, I'm back and I've bought the Pack Breaker Longsword. Now, see, when you log in, it says you have unlocked new items for the store. Check your customization interface for more details. So let's go here and see what it says. See, now if I go to items that I own, I now own the Pack Breaker Longsword. The item can only override one of the same type, which is slash weapons. It can't overwrite the rapier, as I don't actually have it as a slash weapon. It's, I'm sorry. The rapier is a stab weapon, so it won't overwrite. It won't let me activate it, because I don't have a slash weapon on. So, let's put on my CLS. And, let's activate it. Activate. No. Oh. Activate. Thank you. So now when I head out here, my CLS is now a Pact Breaker Longsword. But it is still a CLS and it will still have the same stats as the CLS. Because it's just a reskin of it. And I would like to just say that this is completely okay in my mind because cosmetic items give you no physical advantage nor are they forced on you in any way or give you a boost in anything it's just looks sell it if you want people don't need it people will want it people won't need it or really have any use for getting it to get a boost over anyone or get an advantage. By all means, this is what should have came before the Squeal of Fortune. It really should have. But now let's move on to the chaotic items. And I was just saying, it's not much more. Can we deactivate this? Hold on, let's see. What if I change my weapon? Will it be a chaos? No, it's still that. How do I... There's two different customization buttons as well. Now, deactivate. There we go. So now it will be a CLS. Now, what I would like to show you guys is... For those of you who have them, you will notice that the CLS is now being held like a proper longsword. The chaotic crossbow is now held like other crossbows. And the staff is now held upwards like other stave, staves. Yes, the plural of staff is staves. And the chaotic maul and rapier have not changed because they had their own stances. Unlike the other three, which actually used the default stance while just having it in their hand. Wow. And that is all for this update. I will see you guys again with another video.